Welcome to U.S. Briefing. The content of the briefing includes Taylor Swift's The Eras Tour dances to number one at the box office, eyeing Joker film record. Taylor Swift's Eras Tour film sets record for concert film debut. Top Iranian film director found stabbed to death with wife after challenging regime to silence him. Israel-Hamas war upends China's ambitions in the Middle East but may serve Beijing in the end. I spent years writing museum labels, and I'm not sure we need them. Taylor Swift's The Eras Tour dances to number one at the box office, eyeing Joker film record. Yahoo! Taylor Swift's concert film, Taylor Swift, The Eras Tour, has made $95 million to $97 million in North America, making it the largest opening ever for a concert film. The singer went around the Hollywood studio system to distribute the film, instead making a deal directly with AMC, the largest exhibition company in the United States. Swift has 274 million Instagram followers, so did not need to use traditional marketing campaigns. Taylor Swift's era's tour film sets record for concert film debut. Bloomberg. Taylor Swift's concert film, The Era's Tour, has become one of the highest-grossing concert films ever, taking between $95 million and $97 million in U.S. and Canadian cinemas. The film was expected to take between $105 million and $145 million, according to Tracker Box Office Pro. The previous record for a concert film was held by Justin Bieber. Top Iranian film director found stabbed to death with wife after challenging regime to silence him. Telegraph. Iranian film director Dariush Merjui and his wife, Vahida Mohammadi Far, have been found dead at their home in a suburb of Tehran. Merjui's daughter discovered the bodies, both of which had knife wounds to the neck. Merjui had previously criticized the Iranian regime's refusal to grant a screening license for his latest film, A Minor, and had publicly challenged the regime to silence his criticism. Iranian authorities have opened a murder investigation into the deaths. Israel-Hamas war upends China's ambitions in the Middle East but may serve Beijing in the end. The Globe and Mail. China's neutrality on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict has upset Israel, as Beijing attempts to forge closer ties with Arab countries. While China is trying to be heard, the US has been directly involved with the conflict, leading to questions about China's influence in the region. China's Middle East envoy has called for an immediate ceasefire and humanitarian support for Palestinians, while the foreign minister stated that justice had not been done to the Palestinian people, and called for genuine peace talks. By trying to maintain a balance, China may see itself as a mediator and exert its influence in the region. However, Beijing runs the risk of alienating Israel. Tuvia Gehring, a researcher at the Israel-China Policy Center, said that China's position on the conflict was pro-Palestine neutrality, and that it was exploiting the conflict for geopolitical benefits. However, China is better positioned than the US to help resolve conflicts, such as those between Saudi Arabia and Iran, Russia and Ukraine, or Israel and the Palestinians, said another international relations professor. China's proposals to end the war have been seen as benefiting Russia, and its insistence on a two-state solution has been seen as disconnected from reality. I spent years writing museum labels, and I'm not sure we need them. Telegraph. Museum wall labels, those short descriptions that accompany artworks, have recently become the subject of much debate. Some labels are written for scholars, others stress connoisseurship, some are political, and some are great storytellers. However, the best labels read as if you are having a conversation with a curator pointing out details worth looking at. Museums are for looking and individual responses to works of art hold all the magic. Looking is a muscle that needs to be developed. People should go to a museum and wander around until something stops them, then spend 15 minutes looking at it. They should look at the surface and the edges, think about the material and consider the choices that were made about what to emphasize and what to leave out. Look, and keep looking. Look until a novel is found. It is there. And everything needed to discover it is inside. Then, the most important part is to leave. Walk out of the museum and the object will stay with you. Whether or not you return, that connection will remain. If you do return, you and the world will have changed, and a fresh relationship will emerge. Suspended Miami City Commissioner pleads not guilty to money laundering and other charges. The Toronto Star. Miami City Commissioner Alex Diaz de la Portilla has pleaded not guilty to multiple felony charges, including bribery and money laundering. Diaz de la Portilla and Miami attorney William Riley Jr. were arrested in September after allegedly accepting $245,000 in exchange for approving the construction of a sports facility. The governor suspended Diaz de la Portilla after the arrest. Diaz de la Portilla's trial is pending, and his attorney has requested a separate trial from Riley.
Olympic great Mary Lou Retton making remarkable progress, according to daughter. CNN. Olympic gold medal winning gymnast Mary Lou Retton is making progress in her recovery from a very rare form of pneumonia, according to her daughter's Instagram post. Retton, who won five medals at the 1984 Olympic Games, had been fighting for her life but is now showing signs of improvement. She remains in the hospital's intensive care unit but her breathing is getting stronger and her reliance on machines is decreasing. Retton became the first U.S. woman to win an Olympic gold in the individual all-around event and was inducted into the International Gymnastics Hall of Fame in 1997. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6Do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6Do Brief via email.